It's not bad. I never said money was bad. I respect any kind of religion, no matter how slavish it might be. Ah, you didn't realize, huh? Well, don't blow a gasket on me or anything. Chill, okay? Ready? Money is God. And you thought that religion is just the Christians, Buddhists, shamans. Of course it isn't. You're not that stupid. In this day and age, the only universal religion is money. The different currencies are like Catholicism, Protestantism, Judaism, Buddhism. Look, in essence, money is your god. Everyone believes in it, it's the source of everything, and it can even work miracles from time to time. Wow. This god has apostles, millionaires, whose sacred lives you examine with such enthusiasm. Each of you regularly takes the sacrament of communion, receiving an envelope that contains a piece of the holy flesh. Ah. Just for shits and giggles, go ask anyone, how much money do you make? They'll crap themselves like you asked them to confess their gravest sins. And all of those crisp little bills, they're icons. These bills, they are not just some old pieces of paper printed with ink. No, they are nothing less than the body of your god. They are born in a sacred place no mere mortal can enter. Then these godly pieces of paper come into human hands. And then, tired, wrinkled, and dirty, they are burned in special furnaces to rise again like the phoenix, that they may walk their earthly path once more. Everyone touches them. Take out your wallet for a sec. Imagine the journey each bill had to take to end up right there in your sticky little hand. Who was the first to crinkle it? And where is it going next? A bum, a syphilitic, a prostitute, the president, and yourself? You all practice sacraments with the same scraps of paper. People, wake up. All this money circulates in order for you to give it your precious energy. See, money's value is backed by labor. Without you in the mix, money has no meaning. The fact is, money is nothing but the product of a regular printing press. Anybody, anywhere, could print their own money. Of course, it will not be backed by the collective unconscious, but by an individual! You were divided so that they may rule. Money's common property, sure, but yours is yours and mine is mine, right? Money costs a great deal. People cost nothing because you're priceless. Since you have proved that you can make a god from any old myth and you're ready 